Now, we've heard of actors turned singers, but actors turned authors are a bit more rare. But that's the career path for Michael Obiora, who's just published his debut novel. Well, Michael's here with us now. Congratulations on the debut novel. Thank you so much. Tell us briefly, what is it about? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's called Black Shoes, and it's about a property developer who is having an identity crisis. And it sort of uh, explores uh, ignorance, uh, paranoia, lack of communication. And it's about how we judge people or the way we often feel we're being judged can alter the way we behave. Now, what interested me reading the notes on this is that you self-published this, yes, didn't I you? Did, Why yeah. did you have to do that? Um, it's a little bit to do with being a control freak. Uh, close to a few publishing deals, but there was a very specific story I wanted to tell. And uh, I wanted to make sure that I was able to tell that story. And the best way was by self-publishing, nothing to hide behind. Uh, so uh, that's what I'm really excited about. So what about. are the ups and downs of self-publishing, doing it Self-publishing is, is an expensive way to get your book out there. It was before seen as maybe a last resort for authors who couldn't get a publishing deal, or as vanity publishing. I would just say there are cheaper ways to be vain <laughs> than uh, publishing a book. But, you don't um, regret it? I don't regret it at all. I mean, it's been three years in the making. It's out there now. You know, I hope it does wonderfully well. But what's amazing for me is that or having a conversation about my words and about a story I wanted to tell, you know, so there's no regrets whatsoever. This story you tell, I know you briefly explained it. How much have you um, drawn upon your own experience so far? I mean, I think, uh, you know, it's my first book and uh, at the very least subconsciously it's going to be influenced by things that I've gone through in my life. But it's very much informed by conversations I've had using a bit of my imagination as well because I want it to be entertaining in some way for people. There's a yeah, go on. Go Sorry, on. There's, you must have a lot of confidence. Stop advertising <laughs> it. You must have a lot of confidence to go from an actor, which you've obviously shown success in, to think that you've got what it takes also to publish a book. What gave, gave you that? I think uh, putting your money where your mouth is says a lot. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, of course, there must be an element of confidence to go, you know what, I'm doing this myself. I think that writing is maybe more important than acting because without the words, there's perhaps not the performance there. So um, acting number one, very closely followed by writing. I'm very excited to be talking about I this. Bet. I I've bet. had many conversations with myself about it. <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, it's, uh, it's about a London property developer who's having an identity crisis. And it explores the themes of ignorance, paranoia, friendships. And I would say the main theme in the story is identity. Uh, a lot of people have asked me, is it about your life? Um, it's called Black Shoes. Is it a black story? Because it has a black protagonist. But I think just from talking to my friends, that identity is a very universal story. As, as the lead character becomes uh, more successful, he hangs around less with his black friends. Um, so you say people have asked you how much of you is in it. Well, how much of you is, is in the book? Well, it just, it came, the, the story came about for me just sort of uh, uh, realising that there was a lot of stereotypical parts out there as an actor, as a black actor myself. When I was looking at the parts that I was going up for, I realised that uh, a lot of the time it was always hoodie, yep. gun in his yep. pocket, all that kind of thing. So I wanted to write something that was different, somebody professional, aspirational, and then just started to throw in the dynamics of uh, how it looks in the, how it works in the corporate world. Thank Michael, you. good Thanks. to join us. And in case Thanks. you didn't know, Black Shoes yes. is the book. Last time Stop advertising it. <laughs> <laughs> and that brings us almost to the end of breakfast. So that's goodbye from Nagara and me. We'll be back tomorrow.